Hi, my name is Umberto, I'm 28, I'm Italian and I've been living in UK in the last three years doing my PhD and I fucking love science! That, if you think about that, it's a weird company to work for. I mean, you have to write the name of the company on your CV. So, working for I fucking love science. Do you really want to use words as love in your CV? Anyway, here a little story for you. In 1680, Antony de Laonec gets the membership of the Royal Society in London. He's a great scientist because he has invented the microscope and is the first man in history to see bacteria, protists, red blood cells, sperms, a lot of stuff that before we didn't know were there. But Laonec has a problem. He does great science, but he doesn't speak about it, he doesn't write about it, he doesn't write any paper, he doesn't write any book. He doesn't even like people going to his house to look at the experiments. So when Lawanek died, people didn't know how to build a new microscope because he didn't tell them how to do it. What's the meaning of this story? That science and communication of science are actually the same stuff. Because if you do great science but you don't speak with anybody about it, your science basically does not exist. Now, the communication of science these days has two main challenges. First of all, we are doing a lot of science. There are thousands of scientists everywhere in the world working on a lot of different projects. There are new discoveries every day and communication of science has really to keep up with all of them. And then a lot of the times the public that you want to communicate science to is not really keen to hear about science because they are distracted. They have a lot of information, a lot of stuff to do, a lot of game to play. But instead of Candy Crush, science is actually really important for us to know. So the communicator of science is a big, big challenge as well. What's the challenge? Is to make science appealing, interesting, funny. But at the same time, science has to be accurate and authoritative. In one word, communication of science has to be effective. And I think a fucking of science is actually doing this, using videos, pictures, blogs, and then making together and convey through social network in a really easy way. This is why I'd like to work with you guys, because in the last years I've done some communication of science through web radio, through blogs and videos and pictures, and every time I've tried to make science funny and interesting. So I think my style fits quite well in your page style. And then I'm pretty sure you want someone that can actually work with science, that knows exactly how to read a paper, that knows how scientific conferences are working, that probably have a network of people working in science, so has access to a lot of fresh science and fresh stories about science. So, in my last two years, my PhD gave me the opportunity to work with biology, physics and chemistry all together, and then I had the opportunity to read a lot of new papers, attending conferences and workshops, and building that network of people working in science around me. So I'm well trained to know science, and I'm well trained to work with science. On top of that, I like to work in team. I like to share competences, I like to have suggestions from other people to improve myself and my style. And then I just like to do this. I like to communicate science, I like to read about science, I like to speak and write about science. So it will not be a problem to work at night, to work during the weekends, because this is my passion. I, I just enjoy to do this. Now, I know my English is not the perfect one. I know it can be improved, but I'm creative. I have a lot of ideas and I'm quite competent in science. And I think this is much better than speaking perfect English and then having nothing to say. I hope you will consider my application for this job as staff writer for I Fight Love Science. And I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. Is that a bee? I fucking hate bees.